hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to learn that uh, how we can solve this error so a lot of people are commenting uh, like uh, we are facing this error okay so you can see the error on the screen and we will solve this in our this video so in today's video I'm going to implement sign in with Google once more time okay so I will explain each and everything step by step so I already create my Firebase project so if you don't know how to create it you can check my previous video I will give the link in the description and also uh, how to set up Firebase and React Native so in my previous sign in with Facebook video I explain all about setup uh, how we can set up Firebase okay so I will give the link in the description please check that out okay so let's head over to the to this website okay react native firebase and uh, react native firebase go inside the authentication usage and on the bottom you will find google sign in so when you click on this link you will jump to this link okay and uh, first step that you need to do is to implement this library google sign in so when i click on this it will be open over here okay now if you can see there is a command to add this inside your project so run this command i already done that okay uh, and install this package after that you have to follow this android guide so when you click on this link you will be guide you will be like redirected to this link okay guys so after that we need to do some installation so uh, so you just need to add this line okay so add this line inside your android app build.gradle so android app build.gradle on the above google services okay so we already done that because as you can see this is already added okay so make sure these settings are already done okay and uh, you don't need to do anything else Okay, so let's head over to this page now okay so we already created our firebase project so let's go inside our firebase project let's go to the authentication sign in methods and here i will add a new provider which is google enable it and uh, save it okay so this is the only thing that you need to do okay okay guys uh, okay done okay so i copied my code so let's uh, head over to the um, source config and uh, inside config i will create a a folder called uh, auth okay and uh, we'll create a file called index.js let's paste this thing okay so what is here like google sign in which is coming from the library that we installed authentication firebase auth so when I, when you integrate firebase inside your uh, mobile app you will get this package and this is the function okay so this function allow to pop up the sign in with google stuff and uh, returns you the user information so i will provide this code in my description so you can just copy paste this code and web client id yes so this is the most important thing okay so where you can get the, your web client id so if you head over to the documentation so web client id is in your google services json and uh, as the 
client auth client client id okay so if i say where it is my google it is inside my android app this is my google services json so here you can see i have a client inside which we have uh, auth client auth client where it is um, auth client so this is my auth client inside my client and this is the client id okay so i will copy this uh, client id and uh, pasted it inside my this uh, function okay and let's just save it so this is the only thing that you need to do and also save our gradle okay so let me come to the screen so i already created a screen um, inside my screens authentication so this is a simple screen which have only button so i will copy this button one more time i will say google okay and here i will replace it sign in with google google okay guys so let's create this function so it will be a asynchronous function sign in with google okay guys so now what we need to do is to call our this function okay so i will copy this and paste it over here i will import this i will say sign in with google and uh, if you go to this documentation also you can also find this uh, this web client id so i prefer you to use uh, my function then i will call it and i will say then 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 we get the data and we will say console.log the data and i will say it user data like this okay let's just save it okay guys so this is the thing that you only need to do so let's uh, run our project i will say npx react native run and write okay so our project is running so let's wait to the process to complete okay guys so our project is successfully run so let's give a little of margin top to our button and blue to convert it to green okay okay so now let's just click on it sign in with google so our uh, dialog is opening and as you can see this is successfully open and if i click on uh, it and uh, then you can see like uh, okay so google sign in and i'm getting this error developer error okay so so this is the same error guys that you are facing so let's solve this okay guys so we are getting this error um this developer error so to solve this you need to do only one step thing which is uh, go inside your google okay go inside your google and copy the uh, go inside your web sdk configuration and copy the client id from here okay copy it from here and paste it in inside your this client client id so when you replace it you will successfully get your user data like as you can see this is i am getting my user data so this is it guys uh, that you need to do i hope you like this video and it will solve your problem so if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one till then take care